Whew. All that dressing up and drag and acting all feminine and your song debuts at number 89 on the High 100. What's up guys, it's your man Chef from Off The Dome back in to say I told you so. And Lil Yachty's career continues to be a disappointment. He has the help of Drake and the Baby. After a full week of tracking, Oprah's bank account debuts at number 89 on the High 100. The video was number one on trending and how it's promotion. We thought the single was going to be huge. I thought it was going to replace the box. I thought everybody was going to be doing it on TikTok. But now I listened to the song without the video. And I realized it's a decent song, but still a little Yachty song. And that's when I realized it was going to tank. And I was like, when I said tank, I thought it was going to reach the top 10, or top 20, or top 30. I thought it was going to debut at like number 55. The song debuted at number 89, which means basically it's non-existent on the chart. And I know people are going to say that all my Billboard watchers, well, Lil Uzi Vert's album bomb and Lil Baby's album bomb is still on the charts this week. Um, that didn't stop a lot of singles from still debuting pretty high last week. Lil Baby was there. And it stopped BTS from debuting pretty high when other album bombs happened. During Drake's Scorpion period, there was a lot of songs that still rose up, even though he controlled most of the Hot 100. Justin Bieber had a mini album bomb. That didn't stop a lot of People from moving and shaking through the high 100. If a song's popular enough, it will still do numbers. And matter of fact, the proof of this is Roddy Rich's The Box. I think Roddy Rich's The Box had to go through a lot of album bombs. I mean, he had the Harry Styles thing. He had, um, Roddy Rich had to go through a lot to get to no ones. It was only three weeks, but still, the dude had to beat a lot of songs out. He started from the bottom, literally. So, Maybe Lil Yachty might have the same story, but I don't see people doing the challenge like that. And, you know, sometimes when you act a fool and some people say so to soul, sometimes when you do that stuff, it doesn't work out the way you think it did. So other than the shock value of Lil Yachty being Oprah and drag, what else can Lil Yachty do to revive his music career? I mean, he's still known celebrity-wise for doing How High 2 last year. He has a couple commercials still on TV. He's still decently known. He's a public figure. He'll go down as like maybe a Flavor Flavor, Snoop Dogg type of rapper figure. But music-wise, he won't even get the Snoop Dogg credentials. At least Snoop Dogg has certified platinum albums. Lil Yachty doesn't even have that yet. And if Oprah's bank count doesn't do successful, this Lil Bo 3 project probably will debut high. It'll go number four or something, number three. With probably 70 some K cops because they didn't like it. And then it'll fall off the chart like the other little boat tape did and Teenage Emotions did. And we'll be back to square one. And there's not much I think that Lil Y'all could do to really gain any more traction. I mean, does he want to go ahead and twerk in a video? Does he want to go ahead and do the emo phase thing? What else can he do? Does he want to go ahead and do a racial type video where he's getting hung or something? There's not that many other things that Lil Y'all could do to grab attention. And remember, this is Drake and the Baby feature on one song in 2020, where Drake currently is the king. Matter of fact, this is how bad this song is. The article on Billboard said Drake gets his 208th entry, which beats the Glee cast. They didn't even mention Lil Yachty like that. They just mentioned his name when they said Open Bank Count. The whole article was about Drake. So they didn't even care about Lil Yachty's single like that. So that tells you a lot. They talked about the baby more than Lil Yanni. He's the main artist. And the baby, this is 2020. I mean, Bop, Toes, Vibes, his two albums going both platinum. The dude is pretty much the hottest MC out right now. So you have the hottest MC out right now and basically the legend, the big boy in the game, the father of the game currently on your track. And your track debuts at number 89. Your track couldn't even debut at number 50. This is Lil Yachty's career wrapped up in one. This is why, kids, you never want to embarrass yourself. You never want to do something stupid to try to get likes or screens because it doesn't work out like you think it did. And that's all I got to say. So anyway, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Lil Yachty's new single. Let me know what you think about his rollout. And do you think the dude's a fool for doing this or do you think the single will come back and rebound? Maybe I'll give it... I'll give it a month. Because usually a month is when you can tell a single is going to do well. Unless it's a sleeper hit. But a song like this can't be a sleeper hit. It's a here and now it's challenge type thing. If this song isn't popping by the beginning of May. I'll give it a full four weeks. I give it all of April and two weeks of March. I give it six weeks. If this song's still here next week, I'll be surprised. But if this song isn't popping by the beginning of May. If it doesn't even make an attempt to get to the top 40. Then Lil Yachty has failed. And once again... 
I will make a video updating you on that. Anyway, it's your man, Chef from Off The Dome. I'm here as all the time, making new videos. I've been absentee for a while, but I'm coming back at it. I'm coming at back at it stronger than ever. And my name is Chef from Off The Dome. I'll see you later. Bye. Salute. Bye, man.